You all are the fortunate people because you all came in touch with transcendental knowledge and with Vaishnavas. And as a result, you took up this process of Sadhana Bhakti, chanting Hare Krishna and following four regulative principles. Who in this world, who in this world is prepared to live like that? But by Srila Prabhupada's and his followers' inspiration, we were ready, you were ready. You became the heroes. You're walking a heroic path, most glorious. Everything is blessed on the way. Nothing could be better. What a wonderful life have you been given. His dedication to sadhana was extraordinary. In his last days, chanting 16 rounds was hard for him. When your body's falling apart and you've had to give up eating and you hardly get any sleep and you're besieged by pain and you're not taking any medications how can you chant but he would do it even if it would take all day I, I said to him one day Maharaj if it's too hard to chant that's all right each bead can count for a round. He said, Maharaj, please, please don't give that order. Please don't give that order. I have to chant. I have to chant. And he did. He would get up at midnight and chant for an hour. And then he would get up again and start chanting again at 4.30 in the chair in the outer room. He'd be falling apart, but he'd, he'd come and sit in that chair and chant. When he was so, so weak, he could no longer speak, couldn't move his lips and tongue to articulate the sounds anymore. He would somehow sit in that chair with his beads and move those beads, sometimes slowly and intermittently or 
not at all or and sometimes in quick succession and after a while I caught on he was chanting in his mind every bead meant that he'd completed a mantra with focus and determination in that way he was chanting his 16 rounds Seca